So I've been really inspired recently by Casey Neistat and all the vlogs that he does over on YouTube. He does an awesome job. And I thought, you know, maybe we should start showing uh, you guys a little bit about what it's like behind the scenes of brass. And that you might be a little bit interested in learning about what it's like um, running a startup. I'm going to tell you a little bit about what we've learned over the last week and a half doing our Kickstarter. And hopefully it'll be a little bit interesting. Let's see how it goes. So first things first, we have learned that 67% of our backers on Kickstarter are brand new customers, people who've never ordered from us before. As a startup, it's really hard to get people to your website. You know, you got to drive traffic and driving traffic can be really expensive. So Kickstarter allows us to expose our brand to more people for a lot less money than say paying for Google ads, retargeting. Facebook ads, um, paid placements, all of those things. So we're really excited to see that we have a big number of new customers. We've also learned that 26% of our customers are repeat. They're customers that have ordered us from us in within the last seven months of brass launching. And we love seeing this number too because that means we've made a lot of people really happy so far. Okay, so this next number has been kind of surprising to us. 7% of our Kickstarter backers are new and they've bought within the week of our Kickstarter being live. That means they've found us on Kickstarter, they've pledged on Kickstarter, and then they've gone onto our website and purchased either one or multiple other dresses from our current collection. That's so awesome. We've even had people who have pledged on Kickstarter, ordered from our website, got the items in person, and went back onto the Kickstarter and upped their Kickstarter pledge. So take our word for it. When we say high quality, we mean it. We've seen sales increase by 300% in the last two weeks versus the two weeks before that. We're super psyched to see that, but what it kind of indicates to us is that women want dresses now, that you guys might not really be wanting to wait a month and a half for the dresses from Kickstarter to come in. And we totally understand that. But we're hoping that maybe you guys will bear with us, you'll give us a little bit of your patience, and you'll wait until the beginning of July to get your spring summer dresses, and I swear you will be so happy when you get them. There are gonna be dresses that you can wear into the fall, there are gonna be dresses that you can wear next year, and there are gonna be dresses that you're gonna wear for a long time to come. So hopefully you'll bear with us and you'll head on over to the Kickstarter and you'll see if there's something there that you like. 